All right, guys, how are you? This is gonna be an introduction of my newest Oracle deck called Karmic Exposed. So this deck is based off of the Karmic's perspective and the Divine Masculine's perspective while he is with the Karmic partner. Okay, so pretty much this Karmic is exposing herself in this deck, um, her trickeries, her fuckeries, all that, how the Masculine feels about it, what he's going through with the Karmic. So this is for real, like legit, the best karmic debt in my opinion. <laughs> so I added gold, uh, silver gilding to mine. You guys have the option in my Etsy shop to add silver gilding um, to it or gold. But in my opinion, the silver one looks way better. All right. So, and it is gloss finish. So and there's uh, about 80 cards in here. OK, so let's go. Let's find out what these say it says i know exactly what this karmic is trying to do i'm starting to notice it all so yeah yep then we have i don't like who i am when i'm with this karmic especially because they are very negative okay and this is a vampire edition it goes very it goes perfect with my twin flame hunger deck <clears throat> so we have spirit is keeping me away for a reason so, you know, spirit could be protecting you from the ener the negative energies from the karmic and the divine masculine being with the karmic. Okay, it says my higher self is begging me to leave the karmic. Look at that. This divine masculine is a whole nother person while with this karmic. So it says I've been overindulging with the karmic. Look at how those straws are like sucking the life force out of this karmic right here. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry, hold on. My lappy's lazuli ring is like stabbing me for some reason. All right. So then it says no karmic will ever succeed in awakening me like you do divine feminine. I mean, I tried to pick good looking masculines, you know, cause you know, that one's a good looking masculine. That one's also good looking. This one's also good looking. I don't know about that one, you know, this one's also good looking. So, <laughs> you know, I try, I try. There's not many hot, sexy photos out there that you can use. So karmic knows I still desire you, you know, another good looking one. breaking point i want you to break so this is a karmic wanting the divine feminine to break like they're pushing you past your breaking point they're getting to you energetically they could also be getting to the masculine to get to you as well okay unsatisfied she can't do it like my divine feminine look how handsome he is The karmic is making me turn against you. That happens, right? That happens. And it's crazy because one moment they'll be like all about you. The next moment you're like, what the fuck just happened? I'm sorry for acting like a karmic. Yeah, look, you start to become who you hang out with, right? I'm plotting a revenge. Totally karmic. I act innocent, but they're not. They just look the part. I wish for your downfall, which is divine feminine. Karmic wishes for your downfall, divine feminine. I plan on getting pregnant on purpose to trap him. I mean, look at the look on her face. She's like, ha ha ha. I know exactly what to do to get him. I suffocate your divine masculine. Damn. This relationship is damaging me. See? As long as the masculine holds on to this toxic energy, it's going to make him bleed. It's going to hurt him. It's going to damage him. I'm being stripped of my faith and of my hope. Karmics tend to strip them down to make them lose hope. I make him ghost you. I make him block you. That's what the karmic will do. I know this is my lesson and my karma. Yup. Eventually, they will start to realize that. 
scarcity. I threaten him when he tries to leave me. A lot of karmics do that. It says, I'm done. I'm ready to lead these karmic cycles. Look, seems as though the, the masculine has had enough here in this card whenever it comes out. Um, a ch I'm childish as fuck. I thought that was a perfect image for that one. Spirit baby helping divine masculine. Ignore my nails, guys. I'm in the process of taking them off. I'm abusive and toxic. What's up? Oh, okay. It says, I have psychological issues. I don't care about the karmic. I'm only using her. Damn. I create negative energies. That is 100% true as fuck. I mean, look at the black in her eyes. I'm stuck in lower energies. I don't know who I am. Yep, that, that's what happens, masculine. When you're engaged with karmic partner, I want you to give up on your twin flame. Wow, you see? Karmic wants you to break. They want you to give up on your divine masculine, on your twin flame journey. I hate watching you succeed. See, these karmics hate that you have your own thing going on, feminine. I play the role of the divine feminine. See, they try to play you. They try to be like you. We also have conduit. It says, I channel the, the feminine energy to manipulate the masculine. So it's kind of like playing the catalyst to the feminine here, right? It's like a body, a channel, uh, a host is what a conduit is. So they channel your feminine, your divine feminine energy to manipulate the masculine here. I'm fooling everyone, mm -hmm. even the masculine's family. She enables my addictions. Secrets. Ugly monster. She can be a beautiful person on the outside, but on the inside, she's an ugly soul, an ugly person. I make you look bad. So these karmics are constantly making the divine feminine look bad. They're always saying bad things about you. Uh, making you look like the bad person, the crazy one, the obsessed ones, when the roles were actually reversed. See, it says I drain him. His karmics are draining your masculine. Hidden agenda. I'm actually really miserable. See, these karmics are, they're not even happy with your masculine. They just want to be there to get under your skin. Okay, they always all, also just want to be there because... Some of the masculines only look good with them, but they don't really feel. I constantly lie to your divine masculine. I love to play the victim. That's for sure. Come for me. You see, these karmics want the divine feminine to come for them. I want all the power, see? They want to be the divine feminine. They want all the power. They want to hold the crown. It says, I'm starting to wake up, saving myself from the karmic. This is when your masculine starts to realize what the karmic is doing. Starts to wake up from the dead, from the underworld. We have unworthy. I wish I was the divine feminine. I'll push you away from your masculine. I burn with anger and hate when you both communicate. I'm devouring his heart, eating the feelings he has for you. Ooh. Guys, when I was channeling, channeling these messages, I was like, oh my God. Because these are multiple karmics that I was picking up. She will never take my truth away. Look at the masculine holding his sword of truth. 
And the truth is that he, he loves his divine feminine. His feminine is the only one that could do it for him. She can't take that truth away. Yeah, she could try to strip him of his beliefs and everything, but that is something he, she cannot take away. Is this true? I am a trickster. I manipulate him so well. Karmic is messing with my head. And it's funny, right? She's like holding on to him. And then over here, she's like holding his head. I want the divine feminine to lose. I'm ready to cut this bitch loose. <laughs> I love this one. This is actually one of my favorite ones. This masculine is like, I'm ready to cut this bitch. It says, I've done magic on your masculine. Battle scars. You see how the masculine has scars here it could be it could be due to the the karmic or not but it could also be due that you know this karmic could be very abusive especially if they throw things at each other or they're just that type of person it could be emotional or physical it says i'm haunting the divine feminine so some, look at how she's playing the piano here sometimes these karmics will literally haunt you feminine and send you certain songs thinking it's from your masculine and they could be hateful songs like we're done you thought i was the one get over it and it makes you think about your masculine but really it's the karmic sending you those songs haunting you and manipulating you he's my toy she likes to toy around with your masculine Irritated by the feminine. Damn, feminine, you really know how to get under the karmic skin. Just by being yourself. Just by you, like, succeeding. Jaded and settled. Masculine is definitely jaded and, and comfortably numb. <laughs> comfortably numb is what I like. I should have called it. It says, I'm broken inside. I love how there's, like, a shattered mirror. Your divine masculine is blinded by me. We're always fighting. Getting under your skin. So this is a karmic trying to get under your skin. I envy your twin flame connection. I mean, look at her. I didn't even realize that the face glue with red with green. So I was like, oh my God, that was meant to be. I'm very insecure. Hater, I love to cause you guys trouble. She knows my heart belongs to you. I buy your masculine's love. I mock your spiritual beliefs. It's feminine, she marked she mocks your spiritual beliefs big time. Tries to make you seem like you're crazy and you don't know what you're talking about and that your beliefs are shit. I feed off your masculine's energy, which is why we had the other card that said I drain him. I talk and flirt with other men. I don't know how to escape this hell. The karmic keeps me in a bad mood, which is why, which explains them like giving you a bad mood and attitude. I don't care about your masculine's happiness. I want out. I'm not even happy with the masculine. I'm like this because I'm wounded. And I have my family, co-workers and friends keeping an eye on you and your masculine. So there you guys have it. This is my Karmic Exposed deck. You guys can find it in my Etsy shop. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy it. Bye.